everyone is doing well during this pandemic time. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank everyone for joining this Hello. webinar today. Yeah, uh, first of all, I want to introduce myself. My name is Adam. Uh, I represent Ivoqua Water Technologies uh, as Aquatic Sales Manager for the ASEAN Plus region. Uh, let me mute. Uh, Yeah, uh, I have with me our application engineer Venkat uh, uh, at Evoqua in Singapore, who will who will present uh, his part on the water analyzer controller on site sodium hypochlorite, uh, also named salt chlorinator, and also ozone nation technologies for the aquatic. Uh, before that, uh, I will do uh, the part for the filtration technologies involving regenerative media fil filter. Yeah, then we will also have a guest speaker from one of our longtime Neptune Benson partner who has worked with us to install Neptune Benson defender filters around our region here, uh, Charles K. Uh, we have him now on the line uh, from Waterlink Technologies in Malaysia. Yeah, uh, yeah to share uh, his experience, his businesses, uh, uh, his experience on, on using on installing Defender filters and also uh, comments from his customer, uh, experience from his customer as well. In this webinar, uh, we will introduce Evoqua Water Technology as a global leading water technology uh, uh, provider. Uh, uh, we have multiple brands uh, and solution under our ownership portfolio, uh, also for the aquatic sector. Uh, then we will also introduce our complete solution for aquatics, which involves uh, filtration system, disinfection system uh, that provides to the uh, to excellent water quality, safety, and also operational cost saving. So when we speak about aquatic, uh, we typically um, mean main, main uh, is involving water parks, swimming pool, and also zoo and aquarium life support system. During this webinar, uh, we will hold some polls. Uh, I would like to ask everyone to, uh, to answer the polls on the screen when it appears. Uh, also, during the webinar, you may also ask the question on the control panel, uh, on the GoToMeeting panel, uh, as you see on the screen. Uh, uh, at the end of the webinar, we will, we will try our best to answer as many as we can. Uh, if, if we don't have time to answer all of it, we will be in touch and to answer your question. Okay, uh, that's, that's all for the introduction. I would like to start on, on the introduction of uh, our company, Evoqua. So who we are, uh, Evoqua is a, is a leading provider of water and wastewater treatment solution. We are an, a, a company that, uh, uh, that, that uh, that is based in uh, in US. We have multiple offices, uh, cluster offices around the region. For ASEAN Plus region, we are hub in Singapore. Uh, we offer a broad portfolio of brands and products, services, and expertise to support the water sector, uh, mainly industrial, municipal, and also recreational uh, uh, water customers as well, uh, just like pool, water parks. Yeah. Uh, Evoqua at a glance, uh, a bit on our stats, uh, we have brands such as Wallace and TNNs, uh, which is over 100 years old company, who is always developing new products in disinfection technology. Uh, we operate uh, globally, we have 160 uh, location that we are operating. I myself, I'm based in Malaysia. We have Remy, our marketing manager, who is based in China. Uh, we have Venkat, uh, our other speaker, uh, who is based in Singapore. Yeah, we also have uh, engineering support office in south of India. Yeah, uh, we, we are everywhere. Uh, uh, based on our experience as well, we, are, we have installation bases globally over 200 locations, 200,000 locations. Uh, our revenue in 2019, just a bit of a glance, is 1.44 billion in revenue. So uh, we hold key positions across the water segment. Uh, these are some of a view of the sectors that we cover. 
Uh, and, and aquatics and pool is one of our main focus of segment, uh, which I'm developing, which, uh, which is also my focus for the ASEAN Plus region. These are some glands of our growth since 2016. If you have seen since 2016, we have acquired uh, 16 uh, brand and companies uh, to complement our, uh, our uh, product portfolio for the water segment globally. Yeah, these are some of the awards and recognition that we get as a company. Uh, in 2019, uh, uh, we received award uh, for being the Digital Water Company of the Year. Uh, 2020 uh, Award for Water Infrastructure, Competitive Strategy Innovation and Leadership Award. We will also receive award uh, based on the green technology, aside from our product, uh, product technology award. So uh, before we go into uh, uh, our product technology, uh, I would like to touch a bit on the signs of trouble that typically a swimming pool has. Uh, it's important to notice a problem that swimming pool has. Uh, these are some of the five points, uh, 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 such as does your pool get cloudy towards the end of the, uh, towards the, end of the day? Uh, can you see the bottom of your pool? Uh, meaning does your pool is clear enough to see. Uh, do you notice any nasty smell, pool smell? Uh, some swimmers or, or, or your pool guests would, would comment as uh, there's a chlorine too high uh, in the pool, which is basically not free chlorine. Yeah. Uh, do you see any sign of corrosion on the stainless steel panel, such as leather or, or your building uh, steel panel? And lastly, are you struggling to control your operational costs uh, for your swimming pool? Yeah, why this matters? Uh, all these problems, if you see, is related to the water quality that, has, that is produced by your, water, your swimming pool water filtration system. Uh, yeah, uh, this matters because uh, the water quality uh, affects uh, your company as a business. Uh, number one, it affects your brand and reputation. Uh, number two is, uh, is uh, the safety uh, for your pool that, uh, that most of the uh, illnesses that happen comes from the pool itself. Uh, risk that you are getting knowingly uh, the configuration of your filtration system for the pool. Air quality as well, uh, the pool smell that, uh, that you are getting is actually affecting the uh, the pool facilities, especially for indoor pool. Yeah, this all affects the guests and your staff satisfaction uh, uh, when they visit to your pools, yeah, when they work at your pool as well. And lastly, operating efficiency. Yeah, uh, I, I, and this slide shows uh, the importance on some of the standards uh, uh, for swimming pool design and safety that are available globally. The most common one that uh, we have is uh, from WHO guideline for safe recreational water environment. Uh, you can, it's easily accessible uh, in their website. Next is from US model aquatic health code uh, uh, and UK, uh, the pool water treatment advisory group. Uh, Australia has their own standard. German has one of the most uh, strict code that, uh, that we've seen. Even China has a code uh, uh, when it comes to operating commercial pool, which also quite strict uh, with a level that involves combined chlorine level as well. Uh, and Singapore has a code as well, SS556, uh, and there is also regulation in Singapore as well to make sure that all commercial pool uh, is within complying to the, uh, to, to the government set of chemistry level. Even Malaysia, we have a guideline and many more around the world. So these are uh, some of the key parameters uh, from these standards. Uh, one is the, uh, is the water quality themselves. Uh, temperature, pH level is, is important. Free chlorine uh, level, one to three ppm is common. Uh, uh, next, uh, uh, which, next, which is important is combined chlorine level that causes the pool smell and corrosion to your indoor pool. Uh, which ideally should be less than 0.2 ppm. 
Yeah. So when it comes to there is also very key uh, important key parameters is your turnover rate, uh, which yeah. Uh, these are uh, uh, for you to size your pump, for example, to make sure that most of your pool water volume uh, is is uh, is there's a high a high percentage is going through your plant your filtration system. Yeah, you can see over there a, a, a typical competition pool would need a maximum of four hours. When it comes to kids, uh, yeah, uh, then it has to be even much lower at maximum one hour. So when we speak about filtration system, uh, the mechanical plant room, uh, uh, there's three basic component uh, that make up of it, uh, which are crucial to define. Uh, number one is water recirculation, uh, where you have to define your design flow of the pool uh, uh, in reference to the standards of turnover hour. Uh, second is the filtration capability of your filter. Uh, what type of technology that you are using. The most common uh, traditional uh, equipment is sand filter. Then there's cartridge filter, DE filter, and, and, uh, the, uh, and ours regenerative media filter, uh, most high-end one. And the last is the disinfection system. What kind of method and efficiency uh, of your system to maintain the, uh, the water chemistry uh, as required? All these three components has to work in coherent towards each other. Uh, if one fails, the whole water treatment machine will fail to sustain its performance and jeopardizing bather safety. And it will also incur higher cost of repair and maintenance uh, in the future as well. So this works just like uh, three steps here. Okay, uh, now uh, I would like to go into the brand and technologies that, that we have. Uh, for aquatics as you know we have a lot of brands we have four brands that uh, that uh, we focus to cater for the aquatics which cover filtration and disinfection system uh, the first brand we have is neptune benson uh, we, uh, since 1956 and has been uh, has been developing and supplying filtration technologies into the market with our most uh, state-of-the-art technology regenerative media filter yeah, called Defender Filter. Uh, second, we have Wallace and Tianan, uh, uh, more than 100 years old company, specialized in disinfection system, especially chlorination uh, 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 solution, and also uh, water analyzer and controller. And next, we have ATG UV from UK, specialized in UV disinfection equipment uh, for multiple industry, uh, industry in the water segment, also aquatics. And lastly, we have ozonation technology by Pacific Ozone uh, in US, uh, which, uh, which develop and supply advanced ozone system, generator, package system, and also portable system for, disinf for surface disinfection uh, uh, for facilities. Yeah, uh, out of all these four uh, brands that we have, uh, we, can, we can actually make up of a complete system for the aquatics. Uh, uh, this is one, uh, one proposal that we have to achieve a premium water quality, safety, and also operational cost saving. Yeah, uh, now uh, I would like to uh, hold a poll session. I would like to ask everyone to answer a poll uh, which appears on your screen. Uh, Remy, can you activate the poll? Yeah, uh, thank you, everyone. 
Uh, I'll continue. Okay, uh, now I would like to introduce our first brand, Neptune Benson, uh, in that of our technology. Uh, Neptune Benson started as a sand filter manufacturer until they start to develop and make it famous globally uh, for uh, regenerative media filter technology. Uh, as you see on the slide, uh, we have three models to cater when it comes to this technology, uh, especially to replace sand filter for commercial swimming pool and now also for small and medium sized pool. Uh, next, we have uh, green drive variable frequency drive for pumps. Uh, this technology is to uh, uh, is to cater for uh, is to maintain your design flow in swimming pool. Uh, typically, if you have sand filter, uh, uh, there will be a, a pressure build up in sand filter that causes your your uh, flow rate to drop in your in your filtration system. Therefore. Uh, variable frequency drive helps to regulate your pump to boost and maintain your design flow. Uh, next, we have Pro Strainer, uh, a, a specialized strainer that, uh, that we design and manufacture to cater for big swimming pool like water parks. We also produce a standard Guardian strainer out of stainless steel and also fiberglass uh, that can pair with your recirculating pump that doesn't have strainer. Yeah, and lastly, we have specialized gratings as well that can cater for lazy river example. Yeah, so uh, now, uh, what is regenerative media filter? Okay, uh, for regenerative media filter, in short, we call RMF filter, uh, is, is actually the most efficient water filtration system available today, uh, basically one step higher than DE as well. Uh, they help water parks, commercial pool, and other aquatics facilities to achieve premium water quality, while at the same time reducing your operational costs. Yeah, uh, this technology is uh, until today is mostly used on commercial pool with uh, that that caters to big flow. For example, water parks, Olympic pools, pub, big public pools, and also big hotel pools. Yeah. Uh, if you compare with a sand filter uh, performance, Defender, Defender RMF filter can actually uh, deliver 90% less water uh, as we are not, we, we don't have the concept of backwash. Uh, we are using 75% less space, 50% less energy from your palms. And since there's no backwash, there is no need to waste your pool water that has chlorine residual or, or also a heated pool. Therefore, you will also save 30% of fuel and chemical. And lastly, uh, it filters up to one micron uh, uh, particles, yeah, which is uh, in terms of efficiency, 95% better particulate reduction. Now, if you see on the right, those are how the internal uh, RMF filter looks like, the defender filter looks like. Uh, the collection system is actually, there's a lot of flexible tubes. Yeah, uh, let's talk about concept of filtration uh, compared to sand filter, which is typically applied to commercial pool. Therefore, we compare typically with sand filter. Sand filter works in principles of depth filtration. Yeah, uh, and these are most the, le the least effective and efficient way. And uh, if you, uh, how the sand filter works is ba basically you have to, the pump has to push the water through the sand bag which uh, as a recommended uh, uh, to achieve the performance is one meter that bad and also 35 uh, uh, of filtration velocity. Yeah, uh, this, this traditional method uh, helps to particle down up down to 20 micron at best. Yeah, you can also increase the efficiency by introducing coagulant uh, system. Yeah, uh, whereas uh, in compared to RMF technology, uh, we are operating based on surface filtration. Uh, as I mentioned, there's a lot of tubes inside the tank. Uh, and, and the tube is actually coated by a perlite media. Uh, yeah, uh, and the water is passing through all this perlite media, then into the tube, then back to the, uh, back to the filtration system uh, and back to the pool. This technology allows to trap down to one micron uh, uh, particle. particle. Yeah, this is how a flexible tube uh, are, are manufactured. 
the flexible tube is basically there's a, a stainless steel 316 coil and weave with a polyester sheet. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and because of this design, we are able to increase the surface filtration area uh, from nine to 12 times compared to a sand filter. Yeah, uh, and all this tube will be coated uh, in the tank uh, with polite media. Uh, what is polite media? Polite media is actually a volcanic glass which has been crushed, processed by crushing, uh, and also heated to expand. Yeah, and therefore the polite media has 85% pores just waiting to trap uh, particles. Yeah, uh, polite media is also food grade. It's not harmful to health. Therefore, it can easily be drained into your municipal drainage system. Yep, uh, one thing to note about, uh, uh, about Defender filter compared to a sand filter, if you understand sand filter, uh, you are required to do backwash when there is increase of pressure of 10 PSI or 0.5 bar. So uh, when there's increase of pressure, uh, 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 it indicates that it's time to do backwash for your sand filter. Typically, as advised by manufacturer of sand filter, you would have to do a backwash at 50 cubic meter per hour per square meter of filtration velocity to achieve a fast enough uh, a reverse flow of speed to fluidize the bed uh, for five to seven minutes. Therefore, uh, out of this concept, you would have a lot of wastewater that goes to the drainage system. Whereas for Defender, uh, as I mentioned before, the polite media is trapping all the particle itself. Yeah, uh, and, and there will be a daily bumping process. Uh, or another name is regeneration process. Uh, this bumping process is basically is to flip the media into, into having a clear surface area of the polite of the polite media just to trap a new particles onto it. Yeah, you can imagine it's like a pancake. Every day the defender filter before you start your pool has to do a bumping process uh, to flip the polite particle. So it has a clean surface to trap new particles. Yeah, therefore uh, uh, how it works is that once there is an increase of a certain pressure, it will tell you it's fine to replace the polite media rather than do a backwash. This is how this is how it looks like inside the tank. Uh, I'll just play the video. You can see the polite is actually now coat, coated onto the tube. Every day we have to do this bumping. Uh, yeah, in the morning before the pool starts. Then there will be a pre-coat process for all the media to coat back onto the tubes. Yeah, once the coating is done, you can uh, you can start back your filtration, uh, your filtration mode for your swimming pool. OK, uh, what OK, and now the question comes about uh, how frequently you have to replace the media. Uh, as a reference, if you have a sand filter at the moment that you have to backwash, that has the increase of pressure of, of 0.5 bar in every three days, that, that you have to do backwash every three days, Media regeneration has to be done every day, one time in the morning. All this is done automatically by our current version of Defender, which come with a control panel and also a pneumatic valve kit that, that automate all this process. Uh, yeah, so if you have an outdoor pool as a reference that you, are using, that you are using sand filter, the media replacement will take four to six weeks uh, of a media lifetime. For an indoor pool, it's a bit longer due to the less contaminant to the pool, which will be six to eight weeks. To change the media is easy. Uh, the system comes with, uh, 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 with a control panel that, that does the uh, pneumatic valves uh, regulation. Uh, and the system will come with a vacuum transfer unit, which helps to easily transfer the polite media from a bag into the tank. So what is one micron fil uh, filtration uh, uh, versus 20 micron filtration from sand filter? Uh, if you see on the left, uh, those are reference of particle size. Even blood cell uh, uh, fil defender filter can, can, can filter them out, blood cell. 
uh, but the most focus of, uh, of microorganism uh, of virus is cryptosporidium. These are the rank number one virus that happen to a well-treated pool, even in developed countries like US, Europe, and even Australia. Yeah, uh, these are basically virus that introduced to the pool by the beaver themselves who has illnesses of, of diarrhea, for example. Yeah, so the only way uh, to make sure that the pool is safe is your filtration system. This virus is, is, is about five micron in size and they are chlorine resistant pool, meaning no chlorine compound can neutralize them instantly. It takes one ppm of chlorine uh, residual pool to, uh, to neutralize them in 10 days. Therefore, you would need a system that can filter them out, like Defender. Yeah. So uh, on the right is efficiency of the, uh, of the filtration at five micron size particles, uh, which is done by University of, uh, of North Carolina uh, that validate our performance. Uh, uh, based on the chart, we can see 99% of efficiency that, uh, that Defender can filter five micron size of cryptosporidium virus compared to a typical sand filter at 28%. Efficiency. Yeah, uh, so how clear is clear uh, besides safety? Uh, you can see this is uh, uh, um, uh, a study that we have done as well. On the left is a pool that we have taken photo underwater uh, with a sand filter, compared on the right with our Defender technology at one micron. Most of our existing customer will at least comment something that is noticeable as this. Okay, uh, what is space saving from Defender that Defender can provide? Uh, uh, as I mentioned just now, Defender can space up to 75% of footprint, space footprint. Yeah, uh, this is one of the retrofit uh, project that we have done for water park in US. You can see on the left, uh, uh, the, uh, the system had two sets of those four units horizontal stack uh, sand filters where we replaced with only two units of our largest Defender filter. This is another project that we have done as well, retrofit for uh, Olympic pool in Barcelona. 18 units of vertical conventional sand filter, we, re we have replaced with two units of Defender filter. Typically for Olympic pool, it involves one competition, 58 times 25 uh, uh, Olympic, competition Olympic pool, and one for the diving pool. Yeah, so what does that mean? So uh, uh, this is an example. Uh, our one unit of our largest Defender filter can cater up to 516 cubic meter per hour, uh, where, where sand filter would need four units of horizontal filter to cover that flow. So when you have a smaller unit, smaller numbers of equipment, uh, uh, you have no need for many pipes, uh, there's no need for many valves, you can even design your plant room to be much smaller than when you have a sand filter. And if you have sand filter, you would need battery valves uh, for each to do the backwash, the rains. Uh, sand filter is also very heavy, far heavy than what Defender is. Therefore, if you have a high rise swimming pool, you need to make sure that you have a reinforced base to cater the heavy operating weight of sand filter. There is no need for backwash holding tank if you are using Defender system. Yeah, typically municipal drainage system, there's a limit on size where uh, the government imposed a rule of having a backwash holding tank or for a high rise building that your drainage pipe is very small. Uh, therefore, you will need holding tank uh, to make sure that uh, uh, the backwash water can slowly go to the drainage pipes. Yeah, and lastly, you would not need a big balancing tank which uh, typically the design involved to cater uh, volume of water for backwash of the sand filter. Yeah, so this is how it looks like uh, a typical defender system. Uh, yeah, you can see over there, that's the tank. The system requires uh, air compressor uh, to do the bumping, the bumping process. On top of the tank, there's actually a tire light uh, that will inflate uh, to move the tubes up and down. Uh, to therefore the polite can dissolve into the water for the regeneration process. 
Yep. Uh, our current version, uh, the system comes with a control panel and also a pneumatic valve skate that execute all the bumping process automatically with also remote monitoring capability as well. We also offer uh, optional items like, uh, like medium pressure UV that we typically pair together and also variable frequency drive as uh, optional accessories. So how much water is safe? This is a sample, uh, a sample analysis is done to make up water for pool, uh, sand filter versus defender filter. If you, have a sand fil uh, if you have an Olympic pool that use sand filter to cater for 516 cubic meter per hour, yeah, typically you would need four units or three units that, uh, that's uh, from sand filter that can cater enough filtration area for the flow. Yeah, you would see yeah, in terms of uh, your annual Yeah, you would see that your annual makeup water uh, is around 10,560 cubic meter of water that you have to make up. Yeah, in terms of cost, uh, the water that you have to buy from the municipal, uh, this is a study done based on Singapore market, based on $1.81 per cubic meter. You would have to pay annually around 19,000 to make up the water. And there's also a sewage fee as well from the, uh, from the municipal where you would have to pay annually $9,700. Compared to a defender, your annual wastewater is only 77 cubic meter. It's only involving the drain uh, to drain uh, 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 the tank fill of Perlite. Yeah, your annual cost is uh, combined uh, portable fee and sewage fee is around 221. Yeah, you would ask, uh, how about the Perlite media? Uh, in reference to uh, what I just mentioned, that if you have to replace the perlite media at maximum of 12 times per year, perlite media typically costs uh, end market is around uh, $2, uh, $2 per kg. Yeah, uh, a, a largest, a largest, the largest size of our Defender filter requires 58 kg of perlite. Your annual cost for perlite media is, is only uh, one uh, one thousand four hundred sing dollars, yeah, which is far more cost saving than what you have to pay for for your uh, for your makeup water and sewage water if you are using sand filter. Yeah, so uh, since there's no backwash with Defender, uh, you are basically saving all the uh, all the chemical and heated water pool from your swimming pool. So uh, what is the electrical energy saving? Uh, by using Defender filter, which is uh, uh, under the concept of surface filtration, uh, you, would, you will save on, uh, you will not need a bigger pump to push the water through the filter. Yeah, you can see this is an example uh, chart that we have done uh, an analysis. Uh, the red line indicates uh, uh, the, uh, the backwash frequency for sand filter, which is every three days. Whereas the defender is the blue line, which uh, which uh, which has a daily bumping. Yeah, the yellow area indicates the energy saving that you will get by using defender filter. Yeah, in terms of cost. Yeah, uh, if you are using a sand filter, uh, if you are using sand filter, uh, typically you will have a pump with a motor starter to cater for 516 cubic meter with a daily usage of electricity of 846 uh, kilowatt per hour. Yeah, that's the cost based on the Singapore uh, electricity cost. Yeah, compared to a Defender uh, uh, you use with a VFD, uh, uh, the cost is 30,000. Yeah, you would save uh, more than half. Okay, maintenance. Uh, how about maintenance, robust? Uh, okay, a Defender filter comes with a 10, 10 years limited warranty. We have over 1,000 uh, installation globally. Uh, we have multiple water parks in Malaysia, in Singapore that we have applied. Uh, some of the water park is over 20 years and they are still using our system. And the system can last for years. The tank is made out of stainless steel rather than fiberglass. The only moving parts on the, on the system is the, is the bumping components on top. Uh, which is the with the rubber tire light 
and also O-ring uh, that that there will be a preventive maintenance uh, 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 in five years, ten years that uh, that you will have to check whether there's an wear and tear. But typically, it would last uh, over twenty years and and it still operate as usual. Compared to a sand filter, sand typically needs to be replaced one to three years for commercial pool. To replace the sand is a lot of work if you have especially a commercial sand filter. Uh, it would take whole day with a big uh, service cost to replace the media. To dump the sand is also an, an issue. Yeah, and, and typical sand filter that uh, we see in the market that made out of fiberglass, their, their uh, collection system, uh, the laterals, is made typically out of ABS system. Yeah, uh, once this lateral breaks, uh, the sand will escape to the pool. The only way to re this is you have to take out all the sand and replace the lateral. Therefore, there's a lot of future costs imposed uh, in terms of re repair of a sand filter. Yeah, and, and lastly, sand filter, uh, fiberglass sand filter base is also made out of fiberglass. Uh, uh, over time, uh, because of the heavy load, it will exhaust the strength of the fiberglass and may crack as well. Therefore, uh, it will be a lot of work to replace the base or even the whole sand filter. Okay, uh, there, is a, uh, there is a preventive maintenance schedule for the Defender filter. Uh, one of it is to do chemical clean. Uh, uh, basically, uh, the, the collection system, the flexible tube inside the, inside the Defender filter tank, uh, uh, sunscreen, body fat, uh, or oil may start onto the collection system. Uh, therefore, it requires to do chemical clean. Uh, if it's for indoor, if it's for indoor pool, we would uh, advise to do chemical cleaning at once every year. If it's for outdoor pool, we would advise twice uh, per year. Yeah, uh, this is also to prolong the system as well. Okay, we have three models to cater to the market. What you see here is our most standard unit. Uh, uh, our largest unit, our largest model can cater up to flow 516 cubic meter per hour, which typically would require four units of horizontal filter. This is our next uh, stainless steel version, uh, smaller version of Defender filter that can fit through a door. Yeah, uh, uh, the largest model can cater up to 93 cubic meter per hour. Yeah, and now this is our latest developed product, which we launched back in December. Uh, this is basically an economical version of the Defender technology. You will get the same benefit out of the previous standard Defender. Uh, the only thing different with this is that uh, it, it's only one model. Uh, this unit is made out of a fiberglass uh, tank, and there is no need uh, for, there is no air bump component on top. Uh, the bumping is done, uh, it's called power bump, uh, it's done by, uh, by a reverse flow. Yeah, and the system comes with a fully automatic, contro uh, with an automatic controller as well. Yeah, uh, as you see here, you will, you will still get the same benefit just like the typical defend the, the standard defender. One unit of this can easily replace your standard three units of 36 inch diameter sand filter. Yeah, this is the new technology that we have introduced into this new product line. Uh, we call it Power Bump. Uh, it's a, uh, we, basically, we have taken out the whole bumping uh, process on top altogether uh, by, uh, by a method of reverse flow. With this design, we are able to produce 20 times more powerful bump and therefore gives, uh, provides 30% more stronger impulse. This will improve, uh, uh, the, this will prolong the preventive maintenance that, uh, that needs to be done. Uh, just what I mentioned about the body fat stuck, stick into the tubes. Uh, 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 with this technology, instead of doing uh, uh, two times per year of, of chemical cleaning, now you can extend to one year. Uh, yeah. This is how the system looks like uh, in the mechanical plant room. 
Yeah, it comes with uh, its own FP series controller. Every day, you would have to do a one push button to do the bumping process. This is a case study uh, that we have for a baby pool, baby swimming pool, that uh, we use uh, the latest product FP series. Okay, uh, all our Defender system uh, comes with certification as well. Uh, it's NSF certified. Okay, uh, that's it for um, my presentation on the, def on the Defender technology, re regenerative media filter technology. Uh, I would like to invite uh, Charles K uh, uh, from Waterlinks Technology Malaysia uh, to speak a bit uh, about uh, his business and also uh, his experience on installing uh, uh, and also on operating, uh, dealing after sales uh, involving the Defender filter. Hi, Charles, we can't hear you. Can you say something, Charles? Hello, hello. Yes. Testing, testing. Yes. Testing. Yes. Ah. Can you hear you? Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yeah. Hey, sorry yes. about the the yes. issue here. Yeah. Thanks, Adam. Uh, thanks, everyone, and uh. I wish to say hi to everyone, and I hope everyone is safe and healthy. My name is Charles Tay. I'm the Managing Director of Waterlink Technologies, uh, based in Malaysia. I wish to thank Wokwa for inviting me as a guest speaker for this webinar. So let me have a short brief uh, introduction about our company. We are formerly known as Aquatic Pools, which began operation in uh, 1987, so to build commercial water features uh, and treatment system. Waterlink Technology came into existence in uh, year 1998, uh, specialized in water-related scope as a builder with expertise and decades of experience in swimming pools, aquatic life support system, public marine exhibit, uh, team park, and of course, water parks. Uh, we have been engineered and delivered world-class solution for water facility across the board in innovative, cost-effective, and reliable manner nationally and overseas. Over the years, the company has acquired recognition, proven and tested on our technologies, developed a fully integrated operation, and built a committed and capable team to take on a wide range of projects, from functional and operational to artistic and aesthetic results. We have established close working relationship with prominent brands of world-class and state-of-art water equipment, products, and system, uh, making us their preferred business partner, authorized dealer, and approved installer. We have proven our capability to com complete projects that present challenges in terms of time, scale, and technicality. Uh, let me introduce some of our previous completed projects. Uh, Aquabit Langkawi Water Parks in Malaysia in year 1996, uh, Busan Underwater World in Korea, 1998, uh, consult, where we are consultation, deep consultation and project management. Uh, Chenpang Aquarium in Shanghai. Uh, that's a Buga, Buluga Wheel uh, exhibit in year 2000, uh, consultation and project management. Langkawi Underwater World Phase 2, uh, Malaysia, uh, 2003. Then uh, we move on to uh, Legoland uh, Theme Park in Johor. Uh, that's the first Legoland uh, theme park in South Asia in year 2012. 
Uh, then the following year, we are blessed to uh, secure uh, the water park, this Laguna Water Park in Johor in 2013. Then we have another job in Fujo, uh, Kui An. They call it uh, Kui An Ocean World. So we did the life supply and store life support system in year 2014. Uh, then we came back to Malaysia with a unique project, uh, which one and only, they call it SETT, uh, which stands for Submarine Escape Training Tank. So for Malaysian Ministry of Defense in Sabah in year 2014. So the tank is about approximately uh, five meter deep. It's for the Navy uh, to escape from the submarine in the event there's some problem with the submarine. So they train them how to escape from submarine. So then uh, we have another notable uh, project for the filming industry. Uh, it's the filming tank studio in Pinewood, Iskandar, Johor, Malaysia, uh, 2015. We built uh, two large uh, tank. One has an indoor studio and one has an outdoor studio tank. So then uh, in year 2017, we completed uh, handover uh, the Zaru Adventure Water Park in Johor, Malaysia. Uh, concurrently in this project, we did another uh, project in nursing for His Royal Highness, uh, the Sultan of Johor. Uh, the name is called uh, Primstone Palace or Primstone Beach House. Uh, yes, uh, we did all the swimming pools, marine aquarium, coral tanks, bow lake, and uh, fish ponds. Uh, then uh, we did the uh, Gesa Gauch Aqua Theme Park in Tom Island, Vietnam in year 2019, uh, just before the pandemic start. And some of our current projects in progress are Genting Island Outdoor Theme Park in Theme Park, Malaysia. Uh, formerly known as uh, 20th Century Fox uh, Go Theme Park. So then uh, we now currently also crowd uh, water features in Medica Mall, Kuala Lumpur. Uh, that is also known as Minara 118, which is the second tallest building in the world. Another one is uh, TRX Outdoor Water Feature at Tun Raza Exchange. This will be our next uh, financial center in, in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Uh, so it's an international finance and business center. So with the company Clear Visions, I aspire to perfect how recreation, relaxation, and rejuvenation are achieved for human well-being now and into the future. With the sharp goal and mission, we are committed to developing intelligent, sustainable solutions for water facility to enhance the quality of our daily life. I wish to share my experience now on uh, Iwokwa Nathan Benson. Uh, Defender Fielder, we are proud to be their installer. And then now we are blessed to be their dealer. So we have installed Defender Fielder in some of our project. Legoland Water Theme Park, Johor, supply and install six numbers of Defender Fielders. So we start off uh, with the manual system. <clears throat> so it's, it's not that uh, difficult, but we go through it. Uh, even now that the operator are used to it, is that they, they have never had any issue with the manual as at all. So then we move on to the Zaru Adventure Water Park, uh, Johor. Supply and store short numbers of uh, dependent filters uh, with auto fan, auto function. This is much much easier. Uh, then uh, we go to Genting Outdoor Theme Park, Genting Highland. Supply and store five numbers of dependent filters with auto function as well. Uh, in Gesa Aqua Theme Park. Tom Island or the Koi Fukuok. So Fukuok, uh, we actually we are the installation consultant on behalf of Iwokwa. So thank you Iwokwa. And also lead by uh, Mr. Gen gentleman, Mr. Graham Batman. Batman. Mr. Graham Batman is a very knowledgeable guy in Defender Filters. He know A to Z about Defenders. So actually uh, during the time before we are, we are I mean, we are, when we are installer, before we are the approved installer by uh, Iwokwa, so anything we refer back to Steve and Graham, they are very knowledgeable and uh, they give you the instruction or they guide you very clear cut easily, uh, get, your, get your problem resolved uh, and work done. They are very good. They, they are perfectly, they are, I think they have, they have been about 30 years in the, in Nathan Benson. Uh, so rest assured the support is always there. Whenever we, we call them or we text them, their reply is immediate. So maybe about 24 hours, uh, that's the latest. So the defender 
filter is really very easy to install. So it's very durable filter that can last you for many years. I truly think that it can last you easily 20 years. The guarantee might be 10 years. Yeah. So comparison of uh, the standard filter to conventional sand filter. So I think so Adam have, have really did a very good comparison about uh, both the filters, the pro and cons. But I think so, uh, as I said, that uh, Defender got more pro, more pro, nothing much about the con. Is um, I mean, let me touch base about the maintenance in future. The issue about uh, horizontal filter, to my experience, uh, what Gadam said is true. You need a lot of labor to remove the medias, uh, to change the media. And then on top of that, uh, we have uh, horizontal filter got a lot of manifold. Manifold, you have a lot of waff. Then the thing about backwashing a uh, horizontal sand filter, you need to torture all the waff. So that means that filtration got to do it opposite way for backwash. So another tricky issue is about the, the rings. So if you cannot handle the rings, you will have problem. So on top of changing the media and all thing, handling the waff, sometimes the waff uh, would have couldn't close properly, they will bypass the filter, or maybe some of them can go to the waste. You're wasting a lot of chlorinated water. So there are a lot of issues. I mean, now advancement about technology, uh, filtration, uh, the backwashing is not an issue. Now it's, uh, it's bumping. If with the press of a button, you can even set a timer that you even don't, don't need to bother. So automatically, let's say you set at 6 a.m. in the morning, they'll do the auto bumping by themselves. Like changing, uh, I mean, changing of the media, yeah, we did it maybe once a month, depending on the swim load and also the weather. Uh, as for the changing, okay, then the chemical clean, then about what uh, Adam said about one year, we actually encountered one. Uh, one project in Johor, eight years. They've been using Defender filter for eight years. They never did any cleaning. So then they, we are caught, then we go in, we found that they haven't do any cleaning. Uh, what we do is that we did one clean. That's only out of uh, six filter, six or eight filter, uh, six filter. So only one filter, that's it. So we check the rest of the, the filter, the other five filter, there's no issue. They're all working perfectly well. Eight years, no issue. Just imagine when you're using sand filters uh, for commercial. I, I believe commercial usually take about two years to change the media. On top of changing the media, like what Adam said, yes, there's a lot of problem. Really, I've been through taking out the media. It's quite tough. And then when you, the thing is that you got to go into the filter, the other filter, to assess in, to dig out those uh, media uh, from far end. So when you're stepping on the, the media, you're stepping onto the lateral as well. And also the mushroom lateral as well. So that got chances to break those lateral. Then without knowing, without proper checking it, and then you put in your media, when you run the system, and the, the media go back to the pool, return to the pool. Then you go dig out everything and start all over again. This are, this are frequent problem. It's not, uh, I think so a lot of us have uh, encountered this issue. So, okay. Uh, Actually, that's I said about them. Defender filter is actually very easy of operation. You just need one person to operate pumping, and then uh, the hassle about uh, this uh, horizontal filter. I mean, it take longer time for you to do back washing. And like what Adam said, you are actually wasting a lot of uh, coordinated water during back washing. I mean, it's penny wise found found foolish. Uh, so most of us uh, initial cost might cost slightly more, but in the long term, you save on uh, footprint. You save on your maintenance, ease of maintenance, especially when you've got a high uh, turnover of uh, maintenance staff. So horizontal filter, uh, I mean, like uh, tackling all this uh, control wall, uh, you need someone to, uh, one team to be dedicated, make sure that they know what they're doing. And then there are so many parts, wall, any fold, uh, a lot of things for you to handle. So then you got to off the pump, on the pump, couple of time for backwash and for rinse. And then uh, you got to check, go to the drain and check whether the backwash water came, came out, whether are they clear before you can go back. In this, a lot of hassle, I think so now with modern technology, we should move forward to defender filters. Less issue, uh, less maintenance problem. And then as I told you, they last not any, I mean, sorry to say that uh, one of the project take eight years for us to do the cleaning for them. So, uh, I think so. That should be all for, for me. The rest of the thing all been uh, well briefed by by Adam. 
uh, to learn a lot from his uh, briefing. So I would yeah, like Chuck, to wrap up. Uh, any comment from your customer? Oh yeah, my comp uh, sorry about that. That is, we have a lot of compliment from our customer. You see, the thing about when we use uh, Neptune Benson, we're very, very at least a peace of mind. So during the commissioning, it take, it's very fast for them to clear. It's like as though as you know what we call it a one true filtration. Neptune Benson is almost like giving you one true filtration. The thing is like, uh, you see, uh, it's only one micron, it, give, it, it filter out until one micron. So the water gets crystal clear very fast. So it can actually almost like sitting down there, watching the water thing turn clear. So this is what I impress with the, with the filter. And so is my client. I mean, my, okay. my client actually, okay. like what I say, they own uh, the theme park, which have some, some water feature, which is they, they use conventional sand filter. And then now this uh, Legoland and also this uh, Desaru water park. Desaru water park, uh, for your main information, is about three acres. Yeah, there are three acres that big. So we, we really witnessed uh, within a day that the water turned crystal gets three million gallon. That's three million gallon. Oh. Uh, so uh, I'm very impressed uh, and also very happy, uh, especially the clients are very happy to look at the result. So the swimmer come, I mean, uh, they should be happy as well. The water giving you a very my, one micron filtration, uh, then also is operation for the from the maintenance people. Uh, so it's it's a good filter. I think you should uh, design when you're a designer. You should consider designing and allocate this and talk to the client that uh, is uh, to have this thought. Uh, this is a good thought for your future advancement. Maybe let uh, you can even like some of it. You can actually tee off for future. Additional water feature is your filtration area is more than enough that, that uh, certain model, model, uh, spoilers model also can uh, have extra filter area as well. Uh, so I think okay. so that's all for okay. me, Adam. Uh, so I'd like to wrap up my uh, briefing today and transit to another speaker, Mr. Adam. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you, Charles. Okay, thank you, Charles. Uh, all right, uh, all right. now I would like to go on with our, our next technology. technology. Uh, hi, okay, before we start, uh, before before we start our next technology UV, I would like to uh, get everyone help to answer the poll. Remy, can you activate the poll? Okay, uh, thank you everyone. Okay, next, uh, uh, I, I will touch on our next brand called ATG from the UK, which, speci which specialize in UV technology. Okay, uh, before we start, uh, as we understand, uh, UV is now getting famous for swimming pool as well. Uh, in the market, there's, uh, there's two types of UV. One is the low pressure UV that, that comes in the tubes. Uh, uh, then next uh, is medium pressure UV. Another name for that is polychromatic that produce uh, a, a wider range of wavelength. Okay, uh, at Evoqua, uh, we, have, uh, we have two brands that we cater for UV. Uh, for in the US, in North and South America, uh, we provide ETS UV with the same technology. Whereas the other part of the world, we are offering ATG UV, a brand from the UK itself. Uh, in our product line for UV, we have low pressure and also medium pressure UV for the market that cater to any industry in the water segment. We also recently launched back in April our latest VT, v, VX VT low pressure UV as well. Yeah, uh, ETG UV, as you see, uh, 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 is a UV specialist that 
that pro that cater for disinfection for multiple industries since 1981. So what we understand about UV, uh, UV, what uh, does it do? Uh, typically for UV, uh, the main thing is to disinfect a microorganism. How is how it disinfect is UV is basic uh, DNA in a microorganism is, is actually uh, absorbing photons from the UV and therefore neutralize them to replicate themselves uh, into more microorganism. Yeah, these are the most common in the market where low pressure does. Uh, whereas uh, another purpose of UV, especially uh, uh, focus on the medium pressure UV, it does photochemistry, photolysis, uh, photolysis uh, mainly the chloramine removal. Uh, chloramine, uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, is basically uh, those that causes pool smell. Uh, yeah, and this pool smell will also irritate the eyes for swimmers. Yeah, uh, that's the range of the wavelength, uh, the light wavelength. Uh, for a typical low pressure UV, uh, they are producing uh, uh, at the UVC level uh, between 200 to 280 nanometer range. These are the range that focus on primary disinfection. Yeah, whereas for medium pressure UV, the wavelength goes up to 350 nanometer, which also uh, the wavelength that can cater to uh, to break the bond of the chloramine molecule. Yeah, so why is UV sought for aquatics? These are some of the many cases around the world that happens where UV is introduced to solve uh, the situation, the problems. Uh, if you see in the US, one in eight pools close immediately on routine inspection for critical health and safety problems. Uh, uh, there's it, there is one uh, leading outbreak uh, for, uh, in, for an aquatics, which is cryptosporidium outbreak, which happens a lot in US, which caused a new regulation to be introduced. Australia, which is mandatory, where uh, if there is a sickness because of cryptosporidium that, that, uh, that happened from a pool, it has to be reported to the health ministry. Yeah, uh, as I mentioned, this parasite is chlorine resistant. Yeah, uh, and there's also cases where, uh, where steel structure collapse uh, due to corrosion of the steel panel in an indoor pool uh, with uh, uh, another name is pool net natatorium. Yeah, uh, in 1965, 12 people were killed due to the collapse of the pool roof. Yeah, in 1998, uh, yeah, uh, this is another disease happened called lifeguard lung, uh, due to a lifeguard who works in an indoor pool and keeps inhaling the, uh, the, the off-gas chloramine. Yeah, you can see a picture over there, the before and after of, of the constant uh, of the disease that caused by the, uh, by the constant uh, uh, inhaling of the off-gas chloramine. Yeah, this, uh, this is a rank, a rank list. Uh, from CDC website in the US. Uh, you can also go and visit it. Uh, you can see the number one rank uh, for recreational water illness is still cryptosporidium. Even in a well-treated pool that has enough chlorine, balanced pH, this virus still survive uh, and cause illnesses to people. Therefore, it is advised uh, for commercial pool that involve high risk group in US. Uh, especially involve kids, uh, old people, or, 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 or injured people for hydrotherapy pool to use UV system uh, or ozone system as secondary disinfection uh, system. Yeah, uh, yeah, the next slide is, these are some of the guidelines, you can visit them, that they recommend to use a UV or ozone as secondary disinfection. Uh, WHO, PWTAG, even Singapore standard, it is stated that uh, it is recommended to use UV or ozone for indoor swimming pool in order to reduce the level of chloramine level. Okay, uh, again, a note, only a medium pressure UV can reduce uh, all three types of the chloramine in the pool. Yeah, uh, number four is Pool and Hot Tubs Alliance. CDC from US, uh, as I mentioned just now, 
there's a specific terms called high risk group to, to use secondary disinfection system. And lastly, DIN, uh, DIN standard from Germany, which specify the required dosage uh, of, of 40 to 60 millijoule per centimeter square, which only provides by uh, medium pressure UV, polychromatic UV. Okay, when you choose your UV system, there's a, a, a there is a criteria that you need to understand in order to select your UV for the for your swimming pool. Uh, number one is UVT. UVT is basically the ability, uh, the cleanliness of your pool water, so that the UV can dose uh, efficiently uh, into the water where microorganisms uh, are. Yeah. Second is the purpose of a UV. Uh, and and the required dosage for your pool, yeah. A dosage is basically the intensity of the uh, of the UV uh, times the contact time. The longer that uh, that the UV is dosed onto the microorganism, uh, the higher the dosage that uh, you can provide. Yeah. Number one is uh, as mentioned before is disinfection of microorganism, which typically. Uh, 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 low pressure UV that you see in the market can provide less than 40 millijoule per centimeter square, considering the length of the tube as well. Second is the chloramine removal. Yeah, this is something that only medium pressure UV, which can produce polychromatic uh, wavelength uh, uh, that, can, uh, that can cater. Yeah, which is typically up to 60 millijoule per centimeter square. Yeah, the third is the flow rate of, uh, of your water passing through the UV. To be able to provide a sufficient dosage, it depends, uh, it has a maximum, uh, uh, it has a maximum flow rate as well. If you have a faster flow, it means that your UV uh, uh, cannot dose with enough time onto the microorganism as well. Therefore, when it comes to UV, uh, there is always a maximum flow rate uh, that comes with the model. Yeah, uh, and and lastly is third party validation. Yeah, this is something that uh, 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 that need to be that need to take note of as well. Uh, UV, if you see, is a simple uh, component where there is a UV ballast in the middle encasing with the tube as well. Yeah, uh, but there need be a third party organization out there that validate your performance. We as a manufacturer, we can always promise something. But there need to be uh, a third party organization like NSF uh, or even Tool, for example, that, that need to test our system and make sure that whatever manufacturer promise, promise and it, we fulfill. We fulfill in reducing the microorganism and also reduce the chloramine level of the pool. Yeah, if, if you see below that, those are the three components of chloramine. That is monochloramine, uh, which wavelength at two, which its absorbed wavelength of UV is at 245 nanometer, uh, which low pressure can do. Uh, and there is dichloramine, uh, it absorbs wavelength of UV at 297 nanometer, and trichloramine. These are the ones that cause the pool smell and the ice and off gas uh, onto the pool facilities. The wavelength is 260 nanometer and 340 nanometer. Only medium pressure polychromatic UV can reduce this dichloramine and trichloramine so that you will have a, a much better pool facilities. Yeah, this is an example of all the microorganism, the dosage requirement. Yeah, so if you are selecting a UV, you have to make sure that your UV is producing enough dosage at a limited flow uh, to provide enough uh, dosage to eliminate uh, to neutralize this microorganism. So uh, what is the benefit of ATG UV from, uh, from Evoqua, especially for commercial pool? Uh, number one is a complete disinfection process. If you are especially using sand filter that, uh, that only uh, can filter uh, cryptosporidium, cryptosporidium virus only at 26% efficiency, the balance will need to be neutralized by UV system especially. So if you have a UV system that can neutralize almost all the microorganism at four lock, uh, yeah, at 99.99% of efficiency, yeah, basically you are reducing your chlorine demand as well. 
yeah, besides chlorine doing the disinfection, you also have UV to do the disinfection. Therefore, your chlorine demand for the pool is reduced by 60%. Even in WHO standard, it stated that if you have a UV that is used in conjunction to uh, with your chlorine uh, dosing system, you can control your chlorine ppm at a minimum of 0.5 ppm. Yeah, and, and second, you if you are using UV, you can reduce your downtime as well. Uh, at a point, uh, you will have a very high chloramine level, which reduce your chlorine uh, capability to disinfect as well. Uh, you may need to you you may need to do pool shocking as well. So if you have UV, uh, uh, your your schedule your frequency of, of doing pool shocking is prolonged. Second is, uh, second only medium pressure po polychromatic UV can do is reduce chloramine level. Yeah, I show an example on right there, uh, which there's some misconception in the market as well. Uh, typically, if you see the test kit, those are to measure total chlorine, not free chlorine. Therefore, when it comes to commercial pool, it is some country is mandatory to have water analyzer to measure free chlorine, yeah, rather than only total chlorine, yeah, uh, and uh, and some to measure combined chlorine. Yeah, total chlorine is basically a combination of both free chlorine and combined chlorine. Yeah, uh, yeah. As per standard, these are especially required to use for indoor pool. Yeah, increased risk aquatic venue uh, like wading pools, splash pad, uh, water parks, especially involve those high bathe load. Yeah, uh, uh, by by uh, with reducing the chloramine, there is no unpleasant pool smell that causes skin and eye irritants and worse res respirate respiratory illnesses like lifeguard lung. It will also re it will also prevent corrosion to your swimming pool, uh, to your stainless steel uh, uh, in your swimming pool facilities. Yeah, uh, and third is to it can also improve your water quality by using medium pressure UV. Uh, you it can also oxidize by the cons by the principle of photolysis, and therefore it can coagulate contaminants as well. So filter can filter them out later on. And fourth, uh, our UV has remote capability, where where uh, our UV has a sensor to measure dose. And always knowing how much dosage the, the, the UV can provide is making sure that uh, 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 its function is always operating ideally, uh, enough to dose those, uh, those microorganisms. And it comes also with automation system to prolong the system, especially on the ballast lamp. With the reduced flow, uh, our system can also reduce its, its intensity as well to prolong the life of the ballast. And lastly, our system has third-party validation by NSF and also by US EPA uh, from the food, uh, for the food uh, certification. So uh, uh, these are some of the customer value proposition, the benefit of uh, our UV system. We have the most compact design of UV system in the market, uh, medium pressure UV. Uh, it's safe and simple to maintain. Uh, all, all the features, uh, the, the sensor, uh, uh, the wiper system, it's all come with a twist lock function, uh, twist lock easy for replacement, uh, for maintenance. Uh, our system is the most compact in the market. Therefore, it can fit to any compact area that, uh, that, you, co that you would want to consider to include UV system. Uh, it can be installed horizontally or vertically. Uh, and lastly, uh, 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 we have an efficient design. Yeah, uh, and it also has the uh, dosing, the intensity dosing uh, uh, reg system as well, uh, which can regulate the intensity from 100% to 30%, depending on the existing parameters of the pool, like, like reduced flow rate. Okay, these are some of the installation bases that we have. Uh, uh, you can see in the picture, that's how the UV lo looks like uh, in, the, in the plant room itself. Uh, we have applied in London 2012 Games UK. Uh, that's, those are some of the comments. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, we also applied in one of the water park uh, in Yas Island Abu Dhabi as well. 
many units, uh, especially that consider for safety. Yeah, this is some of the features uh, on the product itself. You can see the sensor is third party validated, uh, all comes with a twist lock plug and play for easy maintenance. Yeah, uh, these are some of the key features. These are what I meant previously on the, on the automation system, which is the fully variable power control 100 to 30%. Uh, this is basically shown that uh, when you just uh, install a new lamp, uh, the lamp will go at 100%, which there is no need to boost the lamp uh, uh, to cater for enough dosage. Therefore, the system will reduce uh, uh, the, the lamp intensity. Uh, this is also uh, uh, for when there is a reduced inflow rate uh, from your filter as well. Yeah, uh, as I mentioned before, when there's a buildup of pressure that reduces your, your system flow rate, uh, the UV can be connected to a flow meter that, that it will reduce uh, the intensity based on the drop of flow. Therefore, will increase the life of the lamp and also the system. Yeah, uh, our UV can also uh, be integrated with our wireless, uh, with our uh, WNT uh, water analyzer and controller. Uh, this is especially important when uh, your water analyzer can measure combined chlorine, chloramine level. If the chloramine level has has reached um, a, a very high, a very high, uh, a high, a high number, and the system will trigger UV to boost the intensity at 100%. Therefore, the chloramine level can reduce quickly. The yeah, chloramine level can reduce quickly. Uh, it can also be connected to our defender system. Uh, as you understand before, the defender has a regeneration process. During regeneration process, bumping process, there is no flow uh, in, in the system. Therefore, uh, the UV will be switched off as well. Once, there's, once the defender is switched on, uh, the UV will also start back. Basically, is everything works automatically. Yeah, uh, we have multiple models uh, to cater for swimming pool. Uh, as you see, uh, our largest model uh, that is validated to provide 60 millijoule per centimeter square, uh, which is also recommended to use for indoor pool. Uh, we can cater up with a single unit up to 700 cubic meter per hour. Yeah, uh, that's all for UV. Uh, I hope that uh, when you have any question in regards to Defender or UV, uh, just write onto the control panel and we will be answering at the end of our webinar session. Uh, okay, uh, Venkat. Hi, Adam. Okay, uh, now I would like to uh, pass to Venkat. Uh, he will start to, pre uh, to present, introduce uh, uh, our water analyzer, uh, our on-site sodium hypochlorite generator, another name is salt chlorinator, and lastly on our ozonation technology. All right. Hi, Adam. I just hello, need your hello, favor. Michael. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I just need your favor. Which screen are you looking at now? Uh, your screen, your main screen. Which is the slide? No, not the slide. Okay. How do I do this? Take out your second screen. To show screen, okay. 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 And now, can you all see the slide? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you, Adam, for the great presentation. And thank you, everyone, for taking, for giving your time to attend this section to know Evoqua's product. Uh, okay, just a bit about myself before I start my presentation. I'm Venkat, the application engineer of Evoqua ACM Plus Disinfection and Aquatics team based in Singapore. And I support the team with generating technical, commercial, and budgetary proposal and product and spare parts codes as well. 
So besides coating products, we also try to support our distributor and user clients to find suitable solution for challenges they are facing with water treatment equipment selection, focusing on disinfection and filtration equipments for industrial, municipal and aquatic markets. So the first product I'll be talking about today is from uh, Wallace and Tiernan, uh, which is a sodium hypochlorite generation system. So a bit about Wallace and Tiernan, I'm not so sure uh, whether uh, you all have heard of them before, but for your info, Wallace and Tiernan is, is a well-known brand for manufacturing gas chlorination and on-site sodium hypochlorite generation system. They have been around for more than 100 years. Uh, many of their gas chlorination and on-site sodium hypochlorite generation system, or in short, OSEC system, has been used in portable water treatment plants across Europe and Asia. Therefore, it is safe to say that WNT manufactures quality products and we are confident it will meet or even exceed end users' expectation in terms of operation, operational performance and durability. Currently, we have factories in US, Germany, and China. Uh, before I talk more about our OSEC system, I would like to ask in favor uh, from the audience to answer uh, one of the questions that uh, Remy will be showing soon. Hi, Remy. Okay, thank you everyone. Okay. What is OSEC? So basically OSEC is uh, generating uh, sodium hypochlorite on site, 0.8% sodium hypochlorite on site by just using salt, water and power. So why do we use on-site or prefer on-site generation versus other methods? What is the benefit of using on-site sodium hypochlorite generation system compared to commercial uh, sodium hypochlorite uh, buying through bulk and uh, calcium hy hypochlorite? So firstly, it's an effective disinfection uh, in, and it minimizes health risk. So uh, the effectiveness of disinfection uh, through by using sodium hypochlorite that is generated on site, it's actually the same as using uh, the bulk sodium hypochlorite that you all, uh, that we buy from or we get from uh, suppliers that produce it. The reason being is uh, we can assure that zero, uh, any PPM, the desired PPM can be reached in the water. The second one is uh, no handling of dangerous chemicals and bulk chemical deliveries. So basically our process requires only brine, electricity and water supply, thus making it safe, reducing risk to workers and environment compared to handling gas chlorine cylinders and high concentration sodium hypochlorite. Furthermore, low, concern, low concentration sodium hypochlorite is generated through this system, making it safe to handle as well. Uh, if, you're, if we are using commercial sodium hypochlorite, uh, it has to be stored correctly. And and used in a reasonable amount of time as its strength and concentration degrades over time. Sodium hypochlorite that is generated through the on-site sodium hypochlorite generation system or OSEC, it, la it lasts longer as it, is, as it is produced in a very low concentration. It is generated when needed, therefore no, there is no need for huge storage amount. As we all know, each disinfection method has its pro and cons. The advantage of using gas chlorine, commercial sodium hypochlorite, and calcium hypochlorite are low capital cost. It's a proven technology for disinfection and easy to handle. But the cons are, there are possibility of chlorine gas leakage that can be hazardous to people and surrounding. 
uh, reduce of chemical strength over time, which uh, if a commercial sodium hypochlorite is stored over time, the strength or the concentration of the solution will reduce. Therefore, you will, you will need actually to dose more to, to achieve the desired uh, dissolved chlor uh, free chlorine uh, concentration in the water. And it's not safe to handle and requires huge amount of storage. Besides that, the chemical costs are high and the transportation of the chemicals are high as well. An end user may, may need some sort of approval from environment department, department to store high concentration chemical on site. So for instance, in Singapore, I'm going to use Singapore as an example, in order to, to store a chemical which is more than 10% in concentration, uh, they will, many uh, operators or clients would, would need an approval from the National Environmental Department in Singapore. Uh, therefore, you need to produce a, uh, additional documents and uh, you need to have bulk, uh, not uh, buns, bun, uh, containment buns to prevent spillage of the chemicals. But by using OSEC, we can, we can increase workplace safety as no transportation and storage of hazardous chemical required. Although the system requires high capital costs, but due to its low operating costs, end user can expect a return of in investment in two to three years of operation. Of course, the, dur the duration of ROI depends on the system's capacity. Uh, the bigger, the faster, the faster ROI uh, duration. So this is a table, is a study uh, done by Iwakua to compare the the price of uh, the compare the cost of uh, sodium hypochlorite generated through OS, to our OSEC system uh, versus uh, commercial sodium hypochlorite, calcium hypochlorite, and chlorine gas. So from what we our findings based on our study, our findings are OSEC L is actually uh, sodium hypochlorite is generated through our system is actually cheaper than buying so uh, commercial sodium hypochlorite in bulk or calcium hypochlorite or chlorine gas as well itself. So based on our annual cost, under annual cost, we did an analysis to, to analyze what is the uh, annual cost on producing uh, sodium hypochlorite using our system compared to sodium buying sodium hypochlorite in bulk and other chemicals in bulk. So as you can see, for under chemical, uh, the only chemicals that we are using is uh, water and salt to produce sodium hypochlorite. Whereas for if you're buying in bulk the chemicals, the chemical cost is much more higher. So under energy for production, so defi uh, definitely uh, we will require a certain amount of energy to convert the salt to sodium hypochlorite. Whereas if you're buying in bulk, there is no energy required to, to produce as, as you're already buying it ready-madely from the supplier. So energy for dosing, so for each method, definitely you will need a dosing uh, equipment such as dosing pump to dose the chemicals into the treatment. So, uh, and we have considered in that into our, in, into our cost as well. So based on our estimation, uh, you can, it is, we noticed that using sodium hypochlorite is much more cheaper than buying chemicals in bulk Okay. A brief description of the process overview, overview of using OSEC, our OSEC system. So as I mentioned, there's only three things required for this for the system to work: water, salt, and power. And the, the components, the main components in this system are water softener, brine tank, brine pump, uh, electrolyte, electrolyzer cartridge, power supply. A control panel, blower, hypo tank, and hypo tank. So, how does the system work? Water is a water softener. First of all, water so the, the water softener is needed to remove hardness uh, from the water supply itself. Uh, and this is this is to protect our electrolyzer cells from being scaled uh, due to the hardness. So, water is actually supplied to brine tank. 
to dissolve the salt and create brine solution, which will be which will be sub which will be supplied to the electrolyzer, and water is also supplied to the electrolyzer cell itself to further dilute the brine in the electrolyzer. So once the elect each electrolyzer has its level switch, so once the brine has filled the electrolyzer, the level switch will send a signal to the power supply to energize the electrolyzer cell. So once the electrolyzer is, is been energized, the electrolysis process takes place where it produces sodium hypochlorite 0.8% plus minus 5% concentration and a byproduct of hydrogen has been produced as well. And both of these products is sent to the high to the product storage tank where a blower is actually uh, fixed or installed to supply air to further dilute the hydrogen gas to to a safety level of below to, to a safe concentration of below of one percent before it is uh, sent before it is released to the atmosphere So what we have currently in our product portfolio are three OSEC models, which is the B+, B+, and OSEC-L. The OSEC B+, comes with, the, comes with the electrolyzer generator only, and this, provides, this is to provide flexibility to experienced system integrator to source for the other components by themselves, as it would be more, would, it would be more economic, economical. The smallest unit can produce 2.5 kg per hour and the largest 40 kg per hour. As for the OSEC B part, it is suitable for integrators with less experience, where it comes with softener, brine pump, and transformer rectifier. Transformer rectifier, electrolyzer, and control panel. The integrator can choose to source the salt saturated tank, product storage tank, blowers, metering pump by themselves, or we can supply as, as well if it's required. And as for this, the smallest unit the OSEC B Park can deliver is 1.25 kg per hour, and the largest is 5 kg per hour. The last one, what we have is the OSEC L, which is the smallest, most compact unit we have currently. It comes with an electrolyzer, brine pump, control panel, and TR, all built in, in the all built in the enclosure. Smallest unit can produce 100 grams per hour, and the largest is 400 grams per hour. So this is a picture of how a typical system, OSEC-L system will look like. It comes with a softener, brine tank, OSEC-L electrolyzer that houses the brine pump, electrolyzer cell, the transformer rectifier, and the control panel. And the storage tank is here. And this is the metering pump to, to, to pump the product, sodium, the sodium hypochlorite to the, to the desired location or user point. And this is where the hydrogen is vent out. The blowers, the blowers supply the air to the, to the top of the tank where it further dilutes the hydrogen to 1% concentration and is released, released to atmosphere. So as I mentioned in my previous slides, the main components, just to touch back about uh, again on the main components that is required for the OSEC L system to work. This is the electrolyzer cartridge, power supply, control panel, brine pump, water softener, brine tank, storage tank, blower, and dosing pump. The items with the asterisk does, does not, is not included in the cabinet. And as I mentioned, that we are we, we give flexibility to end user and distributor to source the the other components by themselves or we can actually code we can actually we, we can also supply it together so the items that we can supply is softener and this is the technical specification of the softener that we normally supply for the OSEC L a salt dissolving tank product tank which comes in four sizes 200 500 800 and 1000 liter uh, uh, the product tank is made of PE and a collection tank or collection basing. Uh, this is to to pre. Uh, this is to act as an uh, bun. If just in case there's a there's a leakage in the product tank, all the solution will be co will be collected in the in the collector basin. This 
this is installation uh, example where we have installed our unit in aquatic re rehabilitation center. So there is a OSEC L. This is OSEC. The most left picture is the picture of the OSEC L and its panel. And the center, the middle picture, it's the electrolyzer cell itself inside the enclosure. And on the most right, it is uh, it shows the OSEC L, the Depolox uh, analyzer, the storage tank, the metering pumps, and the blowers. This is a case study in Germany. The water park, the water park needed to increase their chlorination capacity due to added water futures, and they had very limited space for the new system, and they are not willing to create new structures for the new system as well. So we managed to solve their problem by installing by installing OSEC B Park 260 with the Pollock spool controllers for free chlorine measurement and, and CAM8 dosing pumps as well. They were using our OSEC system previously as well, which operated for almost 20 years. The new units were installed in year 2010 and did not require a new structure. Okay, Mo moving on to a next product, which, are, which is our ozone generator system by Pacific Ozone. So we, we, understand, we understand that some pool design requirement calls for ozone as secondary disinfection. Uh, the good news is we have ozone generators in our portfolio as well. We carry Pacific ozone generators in our portfolio and they are manufactured in US. Uh, as we all know, ozone is a powerful, safe solution for, for the removal of water impurities and disinfection, which leaves no harmful residual behind. With our generators, you can create oxygen. We can, you can create ozone on, on site simply with oxygen and electricity. Our Powertron portfolio can deliver clear advantage in industrial and aquatic markets, which includes reduced downtime where customers can move from preventive maintenance to predictive maintenance. Our ozone generators are reliable when it comes to producing repeatable performance and it simplifies operation, which allows customers to focus more on their process. Our ozone generators are robust and it's been designed to minimize microbial and water chemical failure that increases uptime. Our ozone generators can be easily integrated into new and existing water treatment system. I will, uh, to understand more about this slide, firstly, I would like to, uh, de to explain what is the core components it is needed for a uh, typical ozone generator system. So basically, there is four core components. The first one will be the feed gas preparation system. Uh, where, where we actually uh, generate uh, pure oxygen to be sent to the ozone generator, which is a second core component, where the ozone generator actually converts the oxygen to ozone. And the third core component is a mass transfer, where it's an it's a equipment that we use to dissolve the ozone into the water, which is uh, normally injectors. And the fourth one is control and analyzer. So the control analyzer, there's two types of analyzer normally we consider for an ozone generator system. The first one is a, a dissolved ozone analyzer, where it's an it's a instrument to measure the amount of ozone that is dissolved in the water itself. And the second one is ambient con control monitoring device. So this device is, is actually more to safety, where in the event there is an ozone leak uh, in the piping or in any fittings, the ambient, uh, the, this instrument will actually detect the leak and send and signal to the ozone generator to, to shut down. So currently our Pacific ozone portfolio consists of eight different configurable models grouped into four easy to understand product families. These are generators, generator system, package system, and portable system. The models are available in capacity, in select capacity, and thanks to the new power trans supply, it has 100% linear turndown capabilities. So the first one, the generators, only consists of the ozone generator, ozone uh, uh, generator, which is the second core component. This is the, this is to actually give flexibility to uh, customers and users to source for the the rest of the component by themselves. The second generator system comes with two core components, which is the which is the feed gas preparation, uh, where the system comes with a built-in oxygen concentrator and the ozone generator ozone generator as well. The third one is a package system, where the package system comes with all four 
core components. And the last one is the portable system. It comes with four core components, sorry, three core components, uh, excluding the analyzer and control. And it's, it can be moved around. So the capacity for all the system, it's 18, 30, we have uh, 18, 36, 54, 70 for generator genesis system package system. And uh, we have bigger capacity as well, which is 140 to, to one, one kilo for each system. And the portable system comes with 36 gram per hour capacity. So why do we use ozone? So ozone is actually an unstable gas consists of three oxygen atoms. And the gas will readily degrade back to oxygen after a short period of time. In our system, ozone is actually produced using energy through a corona discharge method in general. So in general, ozone is formed by passing dry air or oxygen through a high voltage electrical discharge where some oxygen molecule are split to atoms and the single oxygen atom combines with other oxygen molecule to form ozone. Ozone is the most powerful commercial oxidant available and is not only used for disinfection but also for iron, manganese and odor removal. It is, it is widely used for disinfection in FNB, pharmaceutical, aquaculture and municipal market and is, it can be used in aquatics as well. So for this section, since we are focusing more into the aquatics market, uh, we would like to focus more on the G series and the portable system and our PC series, the portable system ozone generator, which we feel it's, which is the most suitable ozone uh, system to be used in the aquatics. So the G series ozone generator is a compact, rock cost effective ozone generator. The G series can be easily integrated into existing system or used to build a new system. This air cool ozone generator unit is designed to meet the most demanding industrial and aquatics needs. Powerful and compact, the G-Series offer a full range of ozone production option in a single package from 18 to 70 grams per hour. The G-Series generator will provide optimal disinfection with minimal effort. So under the G-Series, we have two types of, uh, two types. One is the echo and one is a standard design. So the standard design configuration is a robust, robust stainless steel enclosure with the easy to use digital classic panel interface, while the lower cost Echo series configuration comes with a polycarbonate enclosure with a simplified yet safety oriented classic panel interface. Both model comes in four different capacity, 18, 36, 56, and 70, all of which have the 100% linear turndown capabilities, 18 and 36 gram units, have an option for 120 volt configuration if desired. So basically the difference between the two units is it's only the enclosure. One comes in a stainless steel enclosure, another comes in a polycarbonate. Uh, each, each has four different capacity, 18, 36, and 54. And uh, when, when I say 18, 36, that is the maximum capacity the, the model can produce. If we select 36, it means 36 gram. Uh, but at the same time, it, the, the capacity is tunable up to 10%. That means the lowest capacity of 36 gram ozone generator can produce is roughly about four grams per hour of ozone. This is our panel interface. So what comes in the panel is a reactor pressure gauge. So this reactor pressure gauge is actually to monitor the pressure of the reactor cell itself. And then we it comes with a fit gas flow meter. This is to monitor the amount of oxygen is being fed. So typically the amount of oxygen, depending on the model, the lowest, the lowest model would require 18 grams per hour model will require 20 cubic feet per hour of oxygen fed, fed. And the highest one is just 70 gram per hour will require 30 to 40 cubic feet per hour. It comes with a knob where you can adjust the oxygen fit level into the system. It comes in a start stop button. This is to start and stop the system. It comes with an alarm light indicator. So normally the alarm is uh, normally 
uh, there's an alarm if the system is not performing or there's no or the ozone generator has stopped producing ozone and normally the alarm is caused due to two two reasons one is uh, due to uh, electrical uh, not stable electrical power supply and the second one is could be due to overheating where there is not enough uh, uh, not enough uh, space or space in the room for the ozone to uh, to suck in air so generally suck in air it comes to the ozone set point level indicator so this is where you actually uh, set the capacity required so each bar is uh, there is 10 bar in total so each bar is 10% uh, of the total capacity so if just say you have purchased a 70 gram per hour ozone generator if you set it at one bar the amount of ozone is being produced supposed to be about seven to eight grams per hour so if if it's at the tenth level which is the highest level uh, it's producing 70 grams per hour it comes to the local off remote switch so the system can be uh, operated locally or remotely it comes in the ozone adjustment set point so technique so generally when we set at three bar the amount of ozone that is produced should be at three bar as well so if you want to reduce the amount of ozone pro the, the ozone production level we just need to play we just need to press this button okay as for the pc card uh, we believe sanitizing this and disinfecting aquatics facility is important as disinfection the pool water as disinfection the pool water as well when i say facilities i meant the floors diving board slides and even the toilets our pc series portable ozone system is suitable for that purpose it is easy to use compact and can be moved around it is a complete ozone generation system where it is where it simply requires electricity and water to operate so our pc card comes with onboard oxygen concentrator air compressor side stream ozone injectors uh, also uh, a motive water pump and a degassing column this is our pc card uh, internal uh, features what uh, what we actually provide in the pc card itself so the pc card itself can be opened from the from the back and from the front so at the back we can see that there is an air compressor to suck in the air, uh, and then there is a compress and there is a circulating fan to actually cool down the the ozone generator. And there's a water pump to supply water to the injector and a water flow switch. Whereas the front part, what we have here is uh, an oxygen concentrator where it will uh, where the air from the air compressor is actually sent to the oxygen concentrator to concentrate the oxygen to 90 percent we have compressed air pressure gauge to monitor the, the the pressure of the oxygen concentrator compressed air filter and auto drain chassis fan reactor cell power supply and main circuit breaker so the reactor cell is actually the main component of every single ozone generator uh, where the oxygen is actually converted into ozone in this cell. Okay, we have come to the end of uh, my presentation. Uh, if there's any further question uh, after this uh, session, you, you may contact uh, Adam, and this is his contact address, his mobile, his phone, his WeChat ID and LinkedIn address. Uh, and way yeah. before, we end the section. I would like to open uh, open the floor for question and answer section, where uh, you may actually we will answer to any of your questions at the moment. Okay, uh, I will go through the question that uh, we have received. Uh, mm -hmm. There is one question: um, What is the maximum temperature for this regenerative media? can stand for hot water at 90 degrees Celsius. Okay, to answer this question, uh, our filter uh, can, can operate any temperature below 45 degrees. 
uh, we have not, we don't have application until 90 degrees uh, until today. Uh, typically for swimming pool, the temperature doesn't go above, definitely not 40, above 45 degrees. Therefore, Defender uh, mostly is applied in aquatic sector. The next question we have is, in countries like India where Defender is not available, what can be done to show Defender to client and is working? Okay, in India, we already have two installation base, uh, two water parks, uh, basically. Uh, uh, one is the big one. Another one is in the north, uh, in Delhi. Yeah, we have also a channel partner locally in India uh, uh, who has just applied a fiberglass version of our FP series as well. Uh, will you need a support uh, involving our channel partners that has a demo unit? Uh, we can arrange something for you as well. Uh, the next is, what is the input chemical for generator and, and how this gets compared to actual chlorine based disinfection, disinfectant purchased from the local market? Okay, the, the input chemical for our OSAC uh, is salt solution. There is a minimum concentration that needs to be achieved but the salt is, is a simple industrial grade salt that you buy uh, 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 that, that is mixed into a water solution uh, that create uh, the brine solution for the OSAC system. Yeah, uh, OSAC system is typically providing big cost saving for big commercial pool, especially. Uh, I understand in the market that there is, a, uh, there is salt solution, salt chlorinator, that is fitted in line uh, with the water filtration system. Our OSAC is, however, offline. Yeah, basically it's producing sodium hypochlorite separately, meaning there is no need to, uh, to add salt into the pool that to achieve uh, the least uh, uh, concentration of, of, the, uh, uh, of the salt concentration of the pool. Yeah, uh, next is, any, defend, any defender for swimming pool in North India? Uh, we, yeah, uh, we have two water parks. Uh, one, we have recently just sold one FP series, uh, the economical version of, uh, of, fil of uh, defender filter. Uh, I will arrange, uh, we will arrange something with you. Yeah, uh, just to say about installation bases that we have, uh, until today, before we have launched the fiberglass version of Defender Filter, uh, we have mainly applied on water parks, uh, 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 some aquariums application, life support system, to improve uh, the clarity of the water for guests to see, uh, uh, yeah, uh, and also for cost saving of the, uh, of, uh, compared, to, uh, compared to using of sand filter. Uh, uh, we have also applied Olympic pool uh, in Malaysia as well. In Singapore, we have three water parks. Uh, we have one in Hong Kong, Japan, we have Olympic pool. South Korea, we have many, many bases that involve uh, swimming, swimming school, uh, swimming pool for school, uh, uh, public pools, a uh, water park especially. Okay, let's say, uh, um, Venkat, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Adam. Yeah, uh, how do you size for ozone in commercial pool? So in commercial pool, uh, it's actually depending on the regulation. Uh, commercial pool, is there any regulation, Adam, just to, to get a better understanding? Yes, that's a PPM. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. So I think different countries, uh, if uh, the regulation uh, states that there's ozone, uh, there is a recommended dosage, but typically it will be between one to one, one to two ppm of dosage into yeah. the water. 
Okay, uh, I, I just want to explain about ozone uh, system as secondary disinfection system. When we speak about commercial pool, uh, to use UV and ozone is used as secondary disinfection system. Uh, to, co to configure an, an ozone system, uh, there is component that involve ozone generator, like from our Pacific ozone generator. Uh, there is also the need on considering how do you inject the ozone into the water. Uh, and there is also a contact tank uh, to make sure that the ozone gas is mixed with the water. And lastly, uh, be, uh, due to safety, uh, uh, you have to consider uh, uh, on how you are getting rid of the ozone gas. Ozone gas is considered as toxic. Uh, even in China, there is standard where you have to make, measure ozone off gas on, on top of a, of a full surface. Yeah, uh, therefore, uh, to use ozone is complex. Uh, the capital cost can be high, uh, but we also have as an alternative. Uh, the easiest way and, and common way uh, for secondary disinfection system, uh, we would advise medium pressure UV because it's easy to operate. Uh, it's just a, a component that you fit uh, uh, in line uh, to the filtration system. Yeah, uh, a secondary disinfection system. Ozone is still the best oxidizer. Uh, and, and we also have, uh, if you want, as an alternative, we can advise on how to configure uh, the system for secondary disinfection. Any upcoming swimming pool project where installation can be witnessed? Yeah, uh, uh, we have installation in India. Uh, I'll, I'll communicate with you separately uh, about for you to view this system. Uh, Venkat? Venkat? Yes. Are you there? Yep. Can you answer yep. this? Can Defender filter used in domestic drinking water filtration to replace conventional sand filter? In example, once through filtration. Domestic uh, water, is it? Can you repeat the question again, Adam? Can Defender yeah. filter used okay. for domestic drinking water filtration? Okay. And which, uh, okay, it depends if you're using it as the filter of the product water itself after the clean water tank, it can be used. Yeah. Uh, pertain pertaining although, the cap yeah. Yeah, although, we, although we market it for aquatics only at this moment, but basically defender filters are filters that can be used for uh, for any water, but definitely there's a fit water quality that we need to maintain. So yeah. if you're talking about municipal drinking water, it's generally a very clean water where you just need to remove certain particles out. Yes, a defender filter can be used. Is that right to say, Adam? Yeah. Uh, for defender filter, the input water into the defender filter take we have to take account as well. Uh, if yeah. you are saying a muddy water from the river, definitely yeah. defender filter cannot handle those load. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, it, it depends uh, how's the influent water quality looks like. Yeah. That's why for defender filter, it's typically used for aquatics uh, to handle those. Uh, uh, a limit of contaminant that is introduced by the bather themselves. Mm. Yeah. And to handle big flow. That's the purpose of Defender, which is to cater big flow, uh, especially. Uh, yeah. Uh, pertaining, uh, Venkat, can, can you answer this? Mm. Pertaining the capacity for on site generator, uh, mm. example. The mentioned one kg per hour as per our data sheet is mm. e is it equal to one kg chlorine gas hundred percent strength or one kg calcium hypo seventy percent? Yeah. So the strength is a different thing. The strength is uh, basically the amount of uh, chlorine. For instance, just say we say twelve percent of sodium hypochlorite solution, right? So yeah. 
twelve percent will give you roughly about zero point one two kg per liter. So what does the strength say is you got zero point one two kg of chlorine in a liter of sodium hypochlorite twelve percent solution. So where else ours is zero point eight percent. So zero point eight percent meaning that we have zero point zero zero eight kg per kg of chlorine in one liter of uh, of our solution so when you say you one kg of uh, sodium hypochlorite 12 percent and one kg of uh, sodium hypochlorite 0 0.8 percent by our system basically we will be dosing more because we need uh, more amount of the solution to achieve one kg compared to a 12 percent sodium hypochlorite solution but then there is a cons to it so a 12 percent over time because you need to store at site over time it will degrade in concentration whereas a 0 0.8 percent is very stable compound yeah yeah i i think the term strength is a bit confusing uh what the pool needs is free chlorine yeah so uh, uh, you have different compounds, chemical in the market that can produce free chlorine. Some of it is uh, our sodium hypochlorite has 0.8% uh, uh, of chlorine that can be introduced uh, in the pool. Yeah, uh, whereas calcium hypo, 70% uh, of the compound is chlorine that can be introduced to the pool. These are all uh, ratio of chlorine that can be introduced into the pool. All these different chemical, if you source locally, there is a cost that involves importing from foreign countries. There's a logistic cost. There is also cost on handling the material. Like calcium hypo, uh, calcium hypo the concentration of chlorine is very high. Uh, if these are directly mixed with your acid that you have to control your pH, can, can produce chlorine gas that, uh, that can be toxic as well. Yeah. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, we introduce OSAC as a method to produce yourself, to, to cut your operational cost in, 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 in supplying chlorine to your pool, and also at the same time provide safety for you to handle the chemical on site. Okay, uh, we will answer a last question. Uh, yeah, uh, it's ready for 30. Uh, last question would be, uh, does it depend on pool water circulation time uh, per day? Um, I, I, I'm not sure what the question means. Uh, your pool has a design flow. Yeah, uh, which you have to calculate based on your volume and, and, uh, and over your turnover hour that you have select uh, as recommended by the pool standard. Uh, from that, we can select our filter that can cater for your pool. Okay, and lastly, uh, we will send uh, a, a copy of this video a link, a link, and also a slide uh, to your email. Okay, um, yep, uh, that's it for the Q&A session. Uh, I would like to uh, just show last part of it. Uh, okay. Uh, can, can, can you share my uh, the, the slide where I have my contact detail? Adam, are you still seeing my screen? Yes, yes. Can you can you please show uh, the slide where I have my contact detail? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, okay, uh, for, for my last message, uh, I, uh, I just want to point out that uh, we also provide free services of consultation. Uh, we can provide a customized complete solution for your specific pool project. Uh, we can do well on new build of project and even retrofit. Uh, our defender can fit to uh, most of the uh, mechanical plant room that has commercial pool, commercial sand filter especially. Uh, is easily fit uh, during the retrofit. Uh, we can also propose uh, if you have any specific uh, swimming pool like hydrotherapy pool that we can, Evoqua can come out with a customized complete solution for you uh, uh, based 
that complies to the global standard okay. as well. We also do uh, sizing of equipment of our technology. Uh, yeah, uh, based on your pool specification, we provide cost analysis services as well. If you have a pool uh, that is using side filter that you want to see how much cost saving that defender defender can provide, I can do that. I can do cost analysis based on your water cost, your sewage cost, electric electricity cost, space cost. This will help you to to either present to your customer uh, to make sense of the cost saving from the capital cost yep yeah and, and lastly would you need any advice on on standards uh, global standards uh, I'm here to help as well uh, we have data of global standards uh, uh, as a global company and lastly I would advise uh, to follow myself at LinkedIn and our company page Evoqua water technologies at LinkedIn, yep, where we will announce from time to time of new products that uh, we will launch uh, and also uh, our upcoming webinar that we will go in depth on UV. Uh, what we have just done is, is only crumbs uh, as an introduction. Yeah, uh, but what we want to do in the future is to educate the market uh, 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 about how UV actually works, uh, the benefit out of it, uh, how to size the equipment uh, in, uh, in future. Yeah, uh, and lastly, I want to thank everyone uh, for participating on this webinar. Uh, I wish you all well and stay safe during this COVID-19 pandemic time. If you have any question, just email to myself as stated in the page, or you can even WhatsApp me uh, or, or call me. Uh, I'll be happy to uh, to answer your question. Okay, thank you.